internet. I know I have been away for much longer than I've promised, but I really, really wanted to get this dissertation done. And finally, it is done. And finally, it is submitted. And I am finally fucking free. Finally. I've got a lot of suggestions and a lot of ideas for new videos, but after working so hard this month, I really, really needed to just chill and maybe make a video about something that doesn't require a lot of thought. Fat women expecting good-looking guys to date them and accept them. Yeah. I have received this suggestion from one of you guys a long time ago, but I really haven't had the time to do it. And now that I do, here I am. Let's talk about fat bitches. As you know, I love translating Russian and Ukrainian TV shows for you. I adore it. And I'm not being sarcastic at all. And I feel like it's a very nice way to introduce you to my culture slowly and gradually. I know that the majority of you guys are from the US, and trust me, our cultures are very, very different, down to the tiniest details like wearing slippers at home and tugging on your ear after a sneeze. But some things in our culture are very, very similar. For example, really fat, overweight women expecting to be loved and accepted, no matter how they look. And again, I am not talking about the women who actually understand their problem and who are trying really hard to work on their problem. I am talking about the overweight bitches who think that they're so above everybody else, who think that they're gorgeous and beautiful no matter what size they wear, and who think that the whole world should just love and accept them. It's the society's problem that they're fat, not their problem. That's the women who I'm talking about. Women who call men jerks because men do not want to date a fat whale. So there's this one Ukrainian dating TV show. On that show, a life coach and a psychologist help the person who comes on the show find a suitable partner for them. They organize two dates and they basically give the pair a choice to say either a yes or no to a third date and for the continuation of their relationship. And trust me, this show used to be quite bearable actually, but now it's just a circus. So on the show, each person gets to organize their own date. So in total, they go to two dates, one which is organized by one person and the other one which is organized by the other person. After the two dates, they meet again and they tell each other either a yes or a no to a third date. Either way, this show is quite entertaining. From what I know, some of the people who come on the show are actually legitimate people, even though most of them just came there to show their face on TV. I must say, there are a lot of interesting people who come on that show. There are a lot of people whom I would love to shake hands with and have a pleasant conversation. But there's also a lot of people who I would love to just punch in the face. One of them is this girl with a very, very high self-esteem and a three-digit weight in kilos. Meet Natasha, a woman with a capital W and a capital everything else. Я Наташа, мне 21, любимая, самая красивая, желанная. Меня называют только в моих мечтах. А в реальности меня называют Камазом, Китом, Жертрестом и Коровой. Just for comparison, I'm also 21 years old. And I don't remember the last time I was dreaming of men giving me compliments. I think it's a bit, I don't know, pathetic, but... I guess when you don't have another choice and all you can do is dream, well, dream on, girl. Здравствуйте. Я вешу 147 килограмм. Who the fuck starts a conversation this way? We can see that you're overweight. We really do not want to hear the details. But honestly, 147 kilos. That's a lot. That's basically me and my fiancé put together. And that still won't be enough. Но я считаю, что это не проблема, это моя фишка, это моя изюминка. Если бы я была худой такой, как все, меня бы никто не заметил. Я была в серой массе. Trust me, sometimes it's better to blend in than to stand out. Like this. Don't get me wrong, standing out is awesome. I love to stand out. But it depends what makes you stand out. If it's your inadequate behavior and very unhealthy look, well, let's just say it's better to stand out with some bright clothes and some awesome hair color. 
Ты считаешь себя красивой? Да, я себя считаю достаточно даже красивой. У меня ножки худенькие, маленькие, как бы очень даже. У меня очень лицо красивое, как у вас. Очень даже достойная мадам. This is the main issue with ladies like that. Their self-esteem. It's so much higher than those self-esteem of girls who actually deserve such self-esteem. It's so much higher than my self-esteem would ever be. And so is their weight. It's also quite high. I honestly do not understand women who feel this way. How? How are you comfortable carrying all that weight on you? When I put on just five extra kilos, I feel like an elephant. And Natasha, compared to me, has almost 100 extra kilos. Maybe the self-esteem comes with the weight. I don't know. Maybe it does. Держишь какую-то диету, ты спортом занимаешься? Нет. Шоколадочка, там что-то поджаренное. Я что, не человек? Я не худею, потому что это моя фишка, изюминка. Я такая особенная. Ну, блин, мне издалека видно. Why am I not surprised? When your main highlight is that you're overweight and you can be seen from a distance, well, I guess it's quite a large and noticeable highlight. I don't know what else to say. Some people's highlight is that they're creative, and some other people's highlight is that they're talented at something. But I guess being able to eat that much in one sitting is also a talent because Oh, I know that not anybody can do that, that's for sure. So Natasha's problems apparently started when she was a child. She had a very big issue with her kidney and she had to take a lot of hormones to save her kidney. And because of these hormones, she has gained at least 120 extra kilos as a child. However, she was a very little child back then and losing that weight after she was already healed especially as a growing teenager, would have been very, very easy with just some proper diet and exercise. But then Natasha wouldn't have her highlight, will she? And I guess highlights are very important, so... She worked on... Improving her highlight? I guess? Какого мужчину хочешь? Ой, ну, я, чтобы вы не заморачивались, этот принесла уже сразу... Джастин Бибер. Да, я его просто обожаю. Окей. Я понимаю, когда мужчины хотят увидеть красивую женщину на их стороне. Unlike women who love with their open wallets, men, they love with their eyes. But what's the deal with women demanding their men to look like Justin Bieber? Why would you even want your men to look like a little lesbian? Especially a little lesbian that's like twice your size. Girl, you're going to crush Justin Bieber. You're going to crush him with your... with your love. You know? What Natasha doesn't realize is that Justin Bieber probably works really, really hard on looking the way that he does. Yes, he was born with a cute face that little teenage girls go crazy for, but he goes to the gym and he works on his body probably every week. Well, Natasha works on her body at the table, the kitchen table. Probably if Justin Bieber didn't spend that much time in the gym, he wouldn't have as many fans as he does right now. And probably Natasha spent less time in the kitchen, she wouldn't have to go on a dating TV show. Just saying. The show actually listened to Natasha's request and found her a very good-looking blonde guy. Vlad is 23 years old and is a very active and positive guy. He himself had to overcome being overweight after he had to spend a year in a hospital treating broken bones. Vlad gained 127 kilos during that time and had to work really hard on losing that extra weight. He signed up to the gym and he put all of his efforts into being healthy. He now weighs only 90 kilos, a perfectly healthy weight for a man. Well now, let's see how they do on the first date, which was organized by Vlad. I решил удивить но я же не последний подонок. Я должен был узнать человека поближе. Well, that guy is in for a long day. And I hope he's not expecting her to ride with him on that little scooter. Тогда давай, наверное, будем потихонечку двигаться туда. 
пешком. Может, как-то залезем на него, что ли? Well, that's going to be fun to witness. So that didn't work out, which is a good thing because they ended up having to walk, which is probably very beneficial for Natasha. So they get to a restaurant which is themed after tree houses, and Natasha is facing the task of reaching her table, which is on a tree house. Когда я туда лезла в ту дупло, мне так трусились руки. А когда у меня трусились руки и все тело, эта штука трусилась вместе со мной. Fuck. I think I felt that. As it turns out, the restaurant that Vlad picked was a vegetarian restaurant, which Natasha took as a sign of greed because she loves to eat meat and a lot of it. A lot. But thankfully they had some pasta at the restaurant, so at least we know that Natasha won't try to swallow Vlad during their date. At least I hope she won't. Извини за нескромный вопрос, а сколько тебе лет? А на сколько выгляжу? 27-30. Ты прикалываешься. Я ухуяла. Это я еще скинул минимум 7 лет. Я еще молодая. 21. 21? Да. Что? This is exactly what weight does to you women. It makes you look old, much, much older than you really are. And I doubt that you find that amusing or funny at all, because we ladies, we like to feel younger than we are. So why would you want to look like you're 40 when you're actually 21? Nobody knows. Как ты думаешь, а почему ты три года уже одна? Потому что все мудаки. Меня это просто возмутило. Мы не мудаки, мы просто любим глазами. Я хочу такого парня, который полюбит меня такую, какая есть. 147 килограмм любви. Ну блин, она просто не понимает, что это проблема. This is exactly my point. She considers all guys around her to be jerks. Why? Because they don't want to date a land whale. They don't want to be crushed in bed. They don't want you to roll over and just kill them one night. They don't want that. Если закрыть глаза, она очень веселая, она классная. Это просто то, что я искал. Но это пока закрытые глаза. Если открыть, становится печально. Well, maybe it could have worked out if the guy was blind. Maybe they should have found her blind guy from the start. They would have saved a lot of money. A blind guy would have worked. After the restaurant, Vlad invited Natasha to one of his themed parties that he hosts for a living. So first, they needed to get costumes. And I bet you can see where this is going. So, as you've guessed, none of the costumes fit her. So Vlad just gave Natasha his shirt and they went on to a Wild West themed party. Natasha danced her heart out while Vlad tried to pretend that he does not know her. And then came the best part. Vlad hosted drinking and eating competitions as party games. And Natasha got a chance to impress Vlad with what she does best. Well, at least now we definitely know that Natasha is not gonna try to eat Vlad. I hope she's full. I hope she is. Doesn't really look like it. But then... Then came the worst. A bull riding competition. A 
to the party, Vlad has a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Natasha, which of course makes her cry. But I wanna be loved for who I am. Wow. After the first date, the psychologist of the show decided to have a very, very long talk with Natasha. And of course, after the talk, she dragged her to the gym, where they made Natasha work. <laughs> Vlad actually agreed to have a second date, and I guess Natasha decided to introduce him to her family. Давай, я в тебе верю. Здорово, пацаны. Okay, but let's be serious. Natasha is a veterinarian, and she decided to show Vlad what she does for a living, and probably also laugh at him chase animals. <laughs> bit isn't really important. After the zoo, Natasha decided to take Vlad on a picnic and also show off her new look. Well, Vlad did say that he really likes blonde girls. Maybe it would be enough? I don't think it would be enough. So they had a very pleasant picnic for the rest of the day and I think it would be very mean from me if I put you through any of that bullshit. Trust me, you don't want to listen to that. Then comes the finale of the show where the couple meets for the last time to decide whether they want to go on a third date after the show. Vlad, I did everything possible to show that I change. I already weighed on 4,5 kg. Я буду продолжать делать все, что от меня зависит. Но за один день реально я не могу стать дюймовочкой. Я бы хотела, чтобы ты присутствовал в моей новой жизни. Я сделала свой выбор. Я бы хотела сказать тебе да. Наташа, ты классная. Веселая, умная, с тобой очень хорошо. И ты идеальная для меня девушка. Но если бы не твой излишний вес. Я хочу предложить тебе одно условие. Давай. Я надену на тебя кулончик и скажу тебе да. Но только когда ты похудеешь в два раза. И я надеюсь, что у тебя все получится. Не переставай верить в себя. Оу. Oh. Well, that was not really unexpected. I am I'm not surprised really. This is exactly what I was expecting to happen. Yeah, women have to understand that men, most men, they do not want to see somebody like Natasha by their side. But then again, people all have their different desires and different opinions and maybe out there somewhere there's a man who finds Natasha beautiful the way that she is. It's just that I don't know anybody who does. And I really hope that Natasha learned from this experience and continued working on her weight and her appearance. I mean, it's honestly not that hard with just some self-control. I was really curious how Natasha was doing because this episode was filmed at least two years ago. So maybe she looks so much better now. Maybe she's dating somebody. Maybe she got back with blood. Who knows? Let's take a look. Well, fuck. I guess Natasha did not learn anything from this experience. I mean, that shirt says a lot. Why did she even get a Trump shirt in Ukraine? What the fuck? But let Natasha's experience be a lesson to all of you girls who think that you deserve a Justin Bieber when you yourself look like a potato sack. Blonde or not. I mean, I'm sure that many men out there would love to spend their day sitting on their asses, eating fried shit and just gaining weight and being lazy. I'm sure they would. But hey, you women expect them to be pretty and have abs and 
a six pack and all of that nonsense bullshit while you yourself call your obesity a highlight. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. There isn't much else to say. Either lose that weight and work on your body and your appearance, or date a blind guy. But I'm pretty sure that even a blind guy is not gonna want to hug a potato sack at night. And if you're one of these people who are asking, how do I lose weight, Diana? Well, it's that simple. Eat less calories than you burn. That's all it is. It doesn't have to be a diet full of only vegetables and only green tea. It really doesn't. You can still eat the same food that you're eating, just eat less of it. Much, much less. And burn more of it. That's how you lose weight. It's that simple. Of course, there are people out there with actual disabilities and actual medical health conditions which are not allowing these people to lose that weight. And that's understandable. Again, I'm not talking about these people. I'm talking about the lazy asses who just sit on their ass, eat all they want, and still expect to be loved as if they look like Angelina Jolie. Yeah, sorry, you gotta look like Angelina Jolie if you want to be treated like Angelina Jolie. And of course, all people have different views, and your view might not be the same as my view. That's fine, that's life, it doesn't matter move on. One more thing, I have just recently discovered Discord and I thought why not start a chat room in there? So the link to the chat room will be in the description and if you'd like to chat with me, go on. So stay logical, stay rational and I will see you next time. Bye!